Right, what's up, everyone? We're back with another episode of Road to 200 Armoring. Go ahead and just look at the trade skills here. I really haven't made much progress because the trade post has been down like the last two days, but of course, it's back up. Um, Armoring at 181. Definitely trying to get this up. I think I have a lot of materials, to be completely honest. Let me see what I have here in my storage shed. Mm, 99 iron and then uh, oh, we need more coarse leather we do have um a couple of infused silk we have a lot of fibers and silk threads and okay some wire fiber let's go ahead and just like break down some of these materials get them broken down this is going to take up so much of my money and i already know it all right so we've got a decent amount of silk there um i'm gonna go ahead and put these back in my inventory and i'm gonna have to find some kind of way to make some money here i'm gonna have to switch servers I, you, I might just do that like right now like now like now that i just said it it just i'm signing too much now i'm really just gonna switch if i have to wait like in a hundred person queue just to get in like that's not bad a hundred people like that's a, a couple minutes like 30 minutes like you know i'm switching servers yeah, I'm, I already know what the protocol is. I'm taking all of my buy orders out of the market. World transfer. Is that simple? Like, I thought it was going to be something crazy first. Okay. So, I'm in E-Main Outbatch. Does this show where my server is? Because I want to see what my population actually is. Okay, this is mine. Yeah, I'm on a low pop server. High population. Players in queue. Look, there's literally no queue. I might as well just go to Valhalla. Valhalla was just like the supposed um PvP central server or whatever. Yo, I've never seen this many people. So this is what a high populated server looks like. I feel like I've been playing the wrong game the whole time. It does feel a little more choppy though, for sure. My PC can handle max graphics, but I play on low. Still, still feels kind of choppy. Let me actually go ahead and put in some buy orders right now. Okay. Um. Why? Really? Why is wire fiber so cheap? That's crazy. Okay, well, I could do point one and just up the quantity. I mean, like, wow, purchased already. Only eighty one now. Okay, I need to do point three. You know what, dude? I can do point four. I can beat the market just because of how cheap it is. I don't care. Read the hell's one of those. So threads, point 0.10. I'll do point 0.13 just because. Um, let's go up here. All right. I'm going to like an iron spot and I don't even know how bad it's going to be now. Um, going to the spot. There might be so much like more people farming the spot than usual on my empty server. So I don't really know how good this is, like switching servers when it comes to getting materials. So this is going to be very interesting. Uh, there's so many people here. They know all the spots too. So where am I on the map here? Should I just run back and go through these PvP quests? Might as well. Because this right here is going to be something completely different to tackle. We're going to have to switch up a lot. I'm going to be completely honest here. So... Let's start this PvP quest. All right, so we completed two of the faction quests. They were on this side of the map, the other two on this side. So I'm gonna just run through the settlement really quick. Turn these in. All right, let me see how much materials we have. We have 146 iron, put that in here. Only 87 coarse leather. We need some more coarse leather. Um, Pretty much right now, we just need some coarse leather. Go ahead and farm that up really quickly. 
Um, I do have a lot more materials to break down here. I'm gonna leave, need some more money too, of course, to craft the materials. So, um, okay. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and get some rawhide, uh, and just get some coarse leather just to craft up. To be completely honest, once we get to 200 armoring, we might have to switch up the game plan a little bit. In this server, it looks like like farming is really competitive. Like there's other people over here already trying to farm. If I had my PvP on right now, which I just took it off, I would have had to fight this kid. What level is he? Oh, 16. I'm gonna destroy him. <laughs> but still, like there's a lot more competition over here. There's a lot more going on. I feel like I'm gonna have to get 60 quick. Honestly, tomorrow the update for the Void Gauntlet comes out too. So I kind of want to level the Void Gauntlet. So I want to do Void Gauntlet, Ice Gauntlet. I think that's a cool little combination. So I want to do that. Um, I might have to level up after 200. It's going to take me a while to get to 200, obviously. So but, um, the pace is kind of slowing down right now, you know. And plus, I don't have as much time to play as a lot of other people do. So... I'm trying to maximize what I can do here. Because if you think about it, leveling to 60, all you're doing is just quest back to back to back to back to back. Like you can just take all that money and I can just keep going and buying materials over and over again and getting my, you know, ranks up that much quicker. So I, I think that should really be the goal here. Maybe I should just do quest, get the money and then use that money to buy the materials. Like it's basically what I was saying before, like another video, like basically saying like the whole strategy of farming from the trading post rather than farming yourself all right we're back with the rawhide and you know what i've really been thinking i think what we're gonna do here is start questing to get the money and then go to the trade post and uh, buy our materials because honestly i just want to get 200 armoring before 60 but if I do it this way, I can get to 60 and probably get my armoring there so much quicker. My armoring is at what, 182, 181? It's going to be very, like, very, very quick to just buy these materials while I'm questing, making that money coming back, just boom, boom, boom. I feel like that would work out really well because at least, like, the thing I really want is to be level 60 with, you know, at least everything on my body, like 500 plus gear score. And it's not going to be that hard, so... I think after this, we're going to have to start questing for sure. It's funny because it kind of goes against like everything I've ever been saying before. But honestly, just with this server switch, with like just how behind I am right now, I think it's probably uh, worth getting back into this and start, you know, uh, speeding up the process here. All right, we're here in Windsward. I want to see how much we can craft uh, um, in silt. Infused silk gloves. Let's see how much we can actually craft here. Boom, boom. 38, not the largest amount, but it's something. Let's go ahead and get to 182 here. Maybe 183, who knows? 183, solid. All right, um, I have an urge to sell these pieces because I feel like it would count towards money, but we're going to be doing quests anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and break these down and just get the silk back from it. All right, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. The next episode and for the rest of the series on out until 200 armoring, we're going to be doing questing instead. We're going to be questing to get all of our money, and we're going to go ahead and turn all of that um, money into materials by buying it to the market. We're going to see how this strategy works out. I know it's a little different than, like, actually crafting. Like, I don't really feel like a master crafter if I'm buying all my materials. It's kind of weird, but... It looks like that's just a more efficient way to do it in this game. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that comment section up. Tell me what you guys want to see next. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on the post notifications. And I'll catch you guys later. In the night time, it get tricky. Mess with me, we send our boys straight there. Whoa! Straight to the back seat. Put them work up in the night time and it's getting tricky. I put my sweat and my tears in this bitch. So I swear to God, it's getting busy.